بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیر از ڈاکٹر ملک نواز شیجا فرم ڈپارٹمنٹ آف مائکرو بیولوجی کو ہارٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی کو ہارٹ سو دس از مائی لیکچر آف جنرل وائرالوجی وچ از ان کنٹینیشن آف مائی پریویس لیکچر ٹین پارٹ اے سو دس از دا سیکنڈ پورشن آف لیکچر ٹین This lecture is in continuation of single-stranded RNA viruses uh, which are with a positive configuration and the best example of single-stranded RNA virus with a positive configuration is HCV virus which belong to the family Flaviviridae genus HIPAA-C virus. So in this lecture we will cover the different aspect of HCV. These are the lecture outlines. In this lecture, we will focus on the hepatitis C virus genotypes and its subgenotypes. Then we will put some light on the HCV global distribution and the prevalence of its different genotypes in the world. We will also find out the percentage of, its, of hepatitis C virus worldwide as well as in Pakistan. And the last, we will describe the significance of hepatitis C virus in the world. So all these points will be clear in the present lecture. There are seven genotypes of HCV. These seven genotypes are presented with the numerical number like one, two, three, up to seven. Each genotype has its own subtypes and sub subtypes. These subtypes are presented with the lower case of English letters like 1A, 1B, C, D and so on. Similarly, genotype second is presented with the A, B, C and so on. These subtypes are further categorized or broken down into the quasi species and these species is usually based on their genetic diversity. It should be noted that classification or demarcation for genotype is the 30 to 35 percent of nucleotide difference over the complete sequence. For example, if we have an isolate of HCV and we blast the complete sequence of this isolate and it match the available sequences, the complete available sequences in the database and it shows diversity or dissimilarity at sequence level that is 30 to 35. So this isolate will be considered as a genotype. On the other hand, at the isolate variation in its nucleotide level is 20 to 25%, we will consider that isolate to be a subtype of the same genotype. If we are talking about the subtypes, so in the world, 1A and 1B are very dominant. And in most cases, 60% cases have been reported with 1A and with 1B subgenotypes. This slide summarizes the genotypes as well as the subgenotypes that belong to HCV of HEPA-C DNA genius.
in the first column we can see all the genotypes here only six have been presented so the last one is missing anyhow and these are the sub genotypes of each genotypes for example genotype one so we have a sub genotypes a b c up to m in case of genotype two we have the sub genotypes are a b up to r in case of c we have a b c up to k and in genotype 4 so these are, are the subtypes of 4 and in 5 we have only one subtype that is a and in case of genotype 6 we have a b c up to s so these rows presenting the subtypes of each genotype in this slide we can see the distribution of subgenotypes in the world here in this region in american region we can see that one a b as well as two a b and three a is predominant while in european countries as well as in asian states we can see one a b 2a b c 3a 4 are are very common are with a high incidence are with a high percentage so on the basis of world data WHO data 1a 1b are predominant in the world if we are talking about pakistan so this region presenting the pakistan here 3a is prevalent as compared to other genotypes this map presenting the incidence or the percentage of hcv globally the sky blue color presenting the percentage of hcv which is less than one person in these countries while green region represent one to two point four percent the incidence or the percentage of hepatitis c virus in the world if we focus on this region so that in the asian south in the south asian countries like pakistan and india we can see these regions are belong to the green zone of the world where the percentage of HCV is 1 to 2.4 percent similarly in some part of the world where the incidence or the percentage of HCV is more than 10 percent which are considered as the red zone of the world and some part of the world Still, there is no data available to WHO or CDC or some other organization. So they are presented with a yellow color. So in this map, the distribution of the virus has been presented. after distribution so we have to also put some light on the significance of this virus this virus is a single stranded first configuration virus which is infectious to liver and responsible for huge losses in the world so we can say that HCV infection is a serious global health problem all over the world that affects 180 million people of the world. And if we are talking about Pakistan region, so more 10 million people have been reported from this region.
according to who reports three to four million people are infected with hcv every year this is such a high ratio about hcv in the world so this virus cause acute as well as chronic hepatitis which can eventually lead to permanent liver damage or liver cancer because it's a we target only the liver region of the body where it cause damages from infection to cancer like hepatocellular carcinoma so this is the last stage and at this stage there are minimum chances are no chances of recovery except transplant of liver hundreds of thousands of people die because of hcv every year this is who reports and this is just because of the liver failure and liver cancer and the main problem is the hcv which caused the liver failure and uh, from acute it develop into the cancer step by step cirrhosis and fibrosis so that's why hcv cannot be neglected and it needs proper precautionary measure to be adopted that's why avoid surgical equipments of other people if you know or you don't know about his health problems similarly taking blood from any person should be properly screened if you are taking blood from any infected person hcv aids or some other so the virus can easily be transmit if we care of all these things so we can protect our nation so this is enough for today's lecture.